Welcome back, friends. Today we're going to explore the whole viral brush stroke themed designs. So we'll look at a couple of different options and um, let's see what we can come up with today. So I'm going to go over to the elements panel and in the search bar, I'm going to search for brush strokes. And we're going to get a whole bunch of different design. We'll have some in graphics, photos, and frames. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to design something in the graphics se section. So I'll put some uh, graphics on my workspace. With this one, you're going to notice that we have a color chooser, which is fantastic. So we can change the color of this brush stroke, but we can't put a background in there. It's just we can only change the color. So I'll put uh, a couple of these on my workspace. like this and I'm going to go over back to my elements um, section and I'm going to search for a rock band and I'll just go to photos and I'll place this photo on my workspace. I'm going to remove the background and I'll place that on my background like that. I'll make it a little bit larger like that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the colors of those brush strokes. So I'm going to choose one of the brush strokes. I'll choose the color chooser. And what we're going to notice on the side is that Canva has given us the colors or pulled the colors from this image into the color chooser. So I'm just going to change the colors of each one to a different color. And I'll just go with that one for now. And I'm also going to go over to the apps section and I'm going to look for text maker. And I'll go on to text maker. If you've never used text maker before, it uh, has a whole bunch of pre-made text with 3D effects and glowing effects. Um, the one I'm going to use is uh, I'm going to use this one called brownish. And in for the text, I'm going to call this band rock and roll. And I'll come into 3D and I'm going to turn on um, the first level of 3D. Well, it's already on and I'm just going to increase that just to give it a little bit more depth like that. And I'll place this on my workspace as it is. And so here it is right here. So there is my text. Now we're going to notice that um, we can see um, the feet of the individuals over here in between the N and the R. And if you want to hide that, what you can do is you can use a gradient. So we can come back over two elements and we can search for a white gradient to hide that. I'll go into graphics and I'll use this graphics right here and I'll just push that. I'll go to position and layers and I'll just push that in behind my text to kind of hide that um, line that we're seeing. I'll grab that and I'll just put it down a little bit like that. And that's our first design. For the second design, I'm going to add a page and let's go back into elements and let's search for brush stroke again. I'll choose all and we're going to notice that Canva has a few frames. So when we click see all, we're going to get a whole bunch of different frames that we can use. So I'll place um, this one on my workspace. There isn't a heck of a lot of options for frames that um, Canva has. Um, I'll place this one on my workspace as well, and, but we can resize uh, and crop these frames uh, however we like. So this is what we can do with this frame and this is what we can do with this frame. And I'm just going to place some uh, images in here just so that you can see what this looks like. 
to my files. And I've got a couple of holes in here so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so that's what that looks like when we're using the Canva frames that are brush strokes as well. I'm going to add another page. Now I'm going to use a couple of other brush strokes. These are brush strokes that are custom made that I created um, myself. Um, so I will grab a couple of them just to show you what other brush strokes could potentially look like. And I'll just place them here. And I'll just um, space these evenly. So I'll come up here to the three dots and I'll go to space evenly and I'll tidy those up like that. And I'm going to grab those images which I had earlier and I'm just going to pop those right inside like that. Just so that you can see the difference with these frames. So there are those frames. I'm also going to go back to elements and I'm going to place a grunge effect on my workspace. I'll make a copy of this and I'm going to grab one and make it white and I'll grab the other one and I'll make it white as well. Okay, let's place some text on our workspace. So here's that text and in here I'm going to type in Anna Bell. And for this text, I'm going to change it to a font called Amaressa. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but here it is, Amaressa. It's a pretty font. And for this font, I'm going to add an effect. I'll add a shadow. I'm going to change that color of the shadow to white. And I'm going to increase the transparency, making it more opaque. And I'll decrease the um, offset. And I'm now going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'll put that right here. Now I'm also going to go into back to elements and I'm going to search for a pink flower and you can use any flower you want. I'm just going to use this one right here and I'll just place that right here like that. Now you can click into the frames and you can if we go to position and layers going to grab this frame right here and I am going to make it a little bit taller and I'll do the same with the other ones too just to give it a little bit more depth and I'm now going to add some more text and in here I'm going to type 1967 I'll make that a little bit larger like this and I'll place it right over here I'll just align it with the bottom there. And for this font, I'm going to use a um, grunge font, Lava Pro. Here it is right here. And I'm also going to go to effects and I'm going to apply an outline effect. I'm going to choose the color white. And I'll leave the thickness the way it is there, but I'll just make that a little bit larger like that. Now, if you want to make these brush strokes a little bit wider, you can. You just grab the handles and you can make them wider.
Now, if you are interested in using these brush strokes, I do have them on my shop and I will leave the link in the comment section, but you don't have to use these brush strokes. You can use any brush strokes that are within uh, Canva. Again, these are the brush strokes that are available in Canva that you can use. You can also rotate this, these brush strokes. Um, the only thing is that if you do rotate these brush strokes, so for example, if I rotate it like this and I just make it wider like that or longer rather, what you'll have to do is if your, your image isn't going to change direction because you rotate the actual frame, you'll have to click into the um, frame and then rotate your image separately. All right. I hope that you found this tutorial interesting. If you did, press that like, subscribe button, turn that notification bell on. And if there's anything else that you want to see, just drop it in the comments. For now, my friends, I'll say bye-bye until next time.